Hi guys, John here. <laughs> and Jack. Welcome back to another grey day here at the island. Today, we're going to be doing an open water range test with, with the Series 1 airboat. So let's jump right into it. What do we need to know before we go out for the range test? We need to know we've got a fully charged battery, which we do. Um, 4.8 kilowatt hours sitting in there. Yep. Ready to get spent. We're hoping, what are we hoping for? I'm hoping for 10K. 10K should not be a problem at all. all right. um, I'm, I'm hoping for somewhere between 12 to 15. All right. Again, this is the, uh, the burning question with the range is conditions. Um, yeah. As you can see, we're out on a lake today. It's very cold. Um, there is a bit of wind out there. It is snowing, so and I'm going to freeze my ass Snowing, yeah. Because yeah, I'm going to so, be doing this test. Um, but I'm thinking tomorrow as well, you're going to be freezing your ass off because you're going to be in the boat with me because um, I want to do a test with two people in it. All right, well, I'll get some concrete bags ready. <laughs> yeah, it's all up to you. Have fun. Yeah. See you in uh, hopefully not very long. Hopefully ages. Yeah, hopefully I'm out here all day. <laughs> all right, fingers. Catch you later. See ya. So, something just cut out. Here we are in the battery app. The battery is toast, 0%. So I can stop that activity now. That's case. Pretty happy with that. It's good. What I'm not happy about is how cold my fingers are. All right, so when we do all our lovely testing with our airboat, all our range testing, we'll put all those numbers in a spreadsheet down, down below. below so that you can make sure that this thing has enough range for your needs. The first run that we did was with me alone, one person and yeah. no load. And today, well, it's super windy and we're hey, going to be doing it two with- Two people. Two people. It's going to be really interesting to see how far we get. So we're turning around here. We've done 10, 12 minutes of runtime, almost three Ks. And uh, it's well, windy as. It's so windy. We're not getting up on plane even. No. So let's but, turn around. Yeah, now we've got the tailwind. We were doing like 250 amps, 10,000 watts somewhere there. So a yeah, lot of power. 13,000, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go.
Okay. <laughs> That's the cutout. I can so feel that one coming. 24 minutes, 6.6 k's. Really? Yeah. Two people and that was windy. That was so windy. Oh, my hands are so cold. Yeah. Let's uh, call for some backup and check out the numbers at home. Sounds good. All right, so we it's now uh, a week later and we have uh, crunched the numbers. Oh, there wasn't much crunching today. Hey. We just had to put them in a spreadsheet. Oh, spreadsheets. I was too lazy to do that. <laughs> but now we've got them. So uh, should we look at the one I did first, maybe? Let's do it, Jackie Dido. Yeah, so first of all, important thing to note here is all our range tests, we do them from 100% and we do them down to cutout. We're, we're using every single watt hour that that battery has to use. All the electrons. Yeah, on my <laughs> run, uh, I got 37 minutes of run time at an average speed of 20 kilometers an hour or 12 miles an hour. And I got 12.6 Ks uh, of distance or yeah. seven point, well, eight miles, basically. Yeah, just um, under eight miles, yeah. I personally think that was pretty good. It was a comfortable cruising speed. I mean, I was uncomfortable, that, but that was because it was cold. <laughs> but it was a comfortable cruising speed. <laughs> and I mean, 12 Ks of range on open water, I think that's really good. And that's definitely further than what the prototype did in open water. So it, it, it was I'm a stoked. great result. It's a great result, and uh, if you look at the work that we sort of uh, put into the the sizing of the boat, uh, the weight of things, uh, and the uh, the on the converse side of there, the size of the battery and all the parameters that are in that, um, it's a great result for such a small battery, and um, it really proves um, that the the, the airboat. Is, is something to be reckoned with. It can be used in a lot of um, you know situations on a daily basis. Yeah, I mean, I think that to be honest, having twelve k's of range on it was like it was not a bad day. It was not good. It was just a dead average day. Having twelve k's of range that is plenty for most people, um, and it's oh, definitely sure. yeah. more than plenty for us. So I'm really happy with that. I'm also really happy about the runtime. I mean, almost 40 minutes of continuous runtime. Battery was fine. The controller was fine. The motor didn't overheat. So I'm stoked. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a great result. Great result. And then uh, then we have the run you and I did together where you got to freeze your butt off for 25 minutes. Because <laughs> uh, that's what it was. It was a chilly day. Yeah, that was a windy yeah, day. That was yeah. cold. That was super windy, actually. I'm, I think I'm still cold to the core from that. Yeah, I, I think, um, and that was definitely, you know, more challenging um, conditions for the actual um, vehicle itself, you know, for the airboat. Yeah. That was pretty full on. It had to work uh, really hard with two people in it and all of that wind. So, yeah, I mean, um, when we got around the corner uh, there at the rocks, uh, we didn't, we had maybe, you know, a, six seven hundred meters where we didn't get up on plane because it was just it was too windy yeah and they're not the kind of conditions that uh you know you're going to get every day of your life uh, you know there's going to be days which are a lot better than that uh so as with all our tests um you know i think you both you and i are pretty proud to put it out there that this is just the uh, you know the no bullshit because it it proves that the stuff can be used in these kind of conditions and you're still going to get a lot of range out of it so on that note i mean what, what are the stats saying yeah well we did 25 minutes of run time um at an, a much lower average speed obviously because we got stuck in the wind so 16, yeah. 17 kilometers an hour. And two people. 10, 10 miles an hour, exactly, two people. But we still managed to get 6.6 Ks or just over four miles. And to be honest, that's that's pretty good as well. That's plenty. Well, you know, you've got to imagine what it's like out there on the lake with that kind of a wind and two people in a boat. Like we, we had a few of those, you know, a few uh, waves that were, you know, were about 20, 30 centimeters high around that point there. So it was getting up there. Yeah, uh, for sure. That was very well, challenging. Yeah, well, so a good, a good result for what it is. I'm That's not sure really what you, you'd say about this, but, you know, for someone looking to get the Series 1, I think, you know, as long as you don't have further than 5Ks to go, you'll be able to get there regardless of, you know, the weather. Regardless of conditions. Yeah, yeah, regardless of conditions. I mean, I yeah. really can't wait to see what happens when we put this on the ice because, as we know, they usually <laughs> run a lot further on ice. So yes, I think I think we can get some really cool results on the ice. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see the top speed. That's going to be one of those things. That's which going to be is, fun. Um, I, th I think it's going to be a bit of 
bit scary, actually. Well, we'll we'll have to figure that out soon when it's uh, winter time. But uh, right now, yeah, still kind of late autumn. So yeah. Alrighty. Well, what do you reckon? We've uh, we're done about there. Yeah, I think that does it for this open water range test. Hope you enjoyed the yeah. video. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. And um, if you want to support us further, please consider buying us a coffee by joining our membership. We really appreciate your support, guys. And don't forget to check out the Series 1 airboat over on our website. See you later, guys. See ya. Bye.